Tonight, Benjamin Monk will begin the first night of his sentence behind bars. But tonight, John, he's still formally employed by West Mercia Police. The force told us that they'll now conduct a fast-track hearing for Monk. He is the first white officer to be convicted of the manslaughter of a black man in the line of duty. But today there was some criticism of the sentence he received for this because it's emerged that when Monk applied to join the police force, he failed to disclose two previous police cautions. And when the West Mercia force eventually found out about this, they found him guilty of gross misconduct, but they allowed him to keep his job. And Ms Atkinson's family were extremely critical of this today in a statement outside court. And when the England footballers and footballers from both sides at the start of today's match took the knee, they said that they hope that they will honour the memory of the former Villa player. Still employed by West Mercia Police, tonight PC Benjamin Monk begins his prison sentence the first white officer to be convicted of the manslaughter of a black man in the line of duty. Relief from Dalian Atkinson's siblings, but, they said, it shouldn't have taken the death of a famous footballer for the criminal justice system to work properly. We pay tribute to all the bereaved families of black men who have died at the hands of the police and whose fight for justice has not led to successful prosecutions. It shouldn't take the death of a famous footballer for the criminal justice system to work properly and we hope that more families can secure justice in future. As his fellow footballers take the knee, we hope that they will honour the memory of Dalian. Do you think eight years was enough? There was very little reaction from the police officer as he was sentenced to eight years for manslaughter. The judge said that Benjamin Monk's kicks to Dalian Atkinson's head after he had tasered the footballer to the ground, contributed to his death. He said the sentence must reflect public confidence in the police. But today, there was some public criticism of the sentence, after the judge told Monk that he'd be eligible for release after five years. On the night of his death in Telford, Mr Atkinson had been suffering an acute mental health crisis. His family said instead of receiving help, he received violence. Five minutes after arriving at the scene, Monk tasered him three times and then kicked him in the head. Race played a significant part in this. A big, bad black man was actually tasered by white police officers because they were frightened. Not because he was committing a criminal offence, not because he was carrying a weapon, the police officers argued in court that they feared for their life, they were scared. Do you have any sympathy for that? No. Did they try to de-escalate? Did they try to reason? You may say, well, there are potential mental health issues here. Then you're supposed to take that appropriate action to safeguard. The action taken wasn't safeguarding action. The action taken was to inflict pain to gain control. Hugely popular in his local community, the footballer's death led to protests. Wider concerns were raised about the disproportionate use of taser against those from black communities. They should be there to protect us, not to taser and kick us. You just lose faith in the justice system. This programme has learnt that three years prior to his death, Mr Atkinson had formally complained to the IOPC about what he saw as repeated, unnecessary stop and searches. Very frustrated about his probably lifelong harassment from the police, where he's had many, you know, stop and search because he's um, a young black male driving a bright yellow Ferrari. West Mercia Police told us now that the trial has concluded, they'll carry out a fast-track misconduct hearing for Benjamin Monk. In the wake of the Black Lives Matter movement, Ms Atkinson's family said they hope there'll be a change in the way black communities are treated by the police and by the criminal justice system.